the Duke and Duchess of Sussex may have become too divisive to be publicly backed by A-listers. Royal commentator Daniela Elzer took a look at the public show of support Meghan and Harry have received over the past few months. Citing a moment from the Netflix docuseries released in December titled Harry and Meghan, which was focused on the royal pair's lives, romance and struggles, Ms. Elzer wrote in an op-ed for news. Com.au, in Harry and Meghan, their never-ending Netflix stoko, Meghan is seen receiving a text message of support from Beyonce. Why, I wonder, are stars such as her not willing to align themselves with the Duke and Duchess publicly? The Australian commentator continued, One way to look at this is to wonder if, as a consequence of their Take No Prisoners PR warfare of their Oprah interview, Netflix series and Spare, they have simply become too divisive and too polarizing for celebs like the Lemonade singer who meticulously cultivate and husband their brands. The Duke and Duchess have aired their grievances and spoken about their difficult relationship with the palace, the press and certain members of the firm during a number of interviews. In early 2021, they sat down for a two-hour special program with Oprah Winfrey, which included accusations against the royal family of neglect. Harry shivering in his boots about royal retaliation after disrespecting family Prince Harry is shivering in his boots about royal retaliation following the release of his tell-all memoir, sources have told Angela Levin. He must know has disrespected his father and brother's privacy so no reason to be surprised if and when he is exposed, the royal biographer claimed on Twitter, adding that he should have drawn more carefully. Prince Harry spoke about his upbringing and his father King Charles also during the mental health series The Me You Can't See and in an episode of the Armchair Expert podcast, aired that same year. Last December, the Sussexes starred in their first six-part Netflix documentary, in which they accused some communications offices of briefing the press against them to the benefit of other royals. The Duke of Sussex also launched a series of blistering claims and allegations against his family members in his best-selling book, Spare, the launch of which was accompanied by high-profile interviews also including damaging claims for the firm. No member of the royal family has commented on the statements made in recent weeks by the Sussexes. And King Charles wants his son and daughter-in-law at his nearing coronation, taking place on May 6 at Westminster Abbey. The Duke and Duchess, however, have yet to confirm their attendance, with Harry reportedly wanting to hold a meeting with his brother William and father Charles before making a decision on the trip across the pond. Since they moved to the US in early 2020, Harry and Meghan have received the unwavering support of actor and producer Tyler Perry. The Hollywood A-lister provided them with a home and security during their first weeks in California, and was chosen by the pair as the godfather of their second child, Lilibet Lily Diana. Mr. Perry even appeared in Meghan and Harry's biographical docuseries, alongside also another famous friend of the couple, Abigail Spencer, a former co-star of The Duchess in Suits. Most recently, the Duke and Duchess were spotted among A-listers at the wedding vows renewal ceremony of Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi. This high-profile invite however, comes alongside a number of programs on U.S. television mocking the Duke and Duchess. While Spear has been a success for the publishing world, selling 3. 2 million copies worldwide in the first week since its release, some of the episodes detailed by the Duke in it have been ridiculed. The Jimmy Kimmel Show featured in January a sketch making fun of the alleged altercation between Harry and Prince William recounted by the Duke in his book, with two actors dressed up as the singer Prince while physically attacking each other. 
Grammy Awards host Trevor Noah said that James Corden, a friend of the Sussexes, was living proof that a man can move from London to LA and not tell everyone about his frostbitten penis, a reference to an incident involving the Duke's nether region recounted in his memoir. And South Park, an irreverent cartoon series for adults, has released a teaser for an upcoming episode titled Worldwide Privacy Tour, in which two characters seemingly refer to the Duke and Duchess. One of the characters, named Kyle, said in the trailer, It is seriously driving me crazy. I'm sick of hearing about them but I can't get away from them. To which another, Stan, replied, Look Isle, we just don't care about some dumb prince and his stupid wife. 